All right, men of the Ferretburg Militia. You're all trained highly in the deadly arts. Although I fear there's one spot you are sorely lacking. And that is how to defend yourself against a piece of fresh fruit. Oh! You promised you wouldn't do fruit again, my lord. What do you mean? Well, we've done nothing but fruit for the last seven months. We've done oranges, grapes, lemons... Passion fruit! And mangoes in syrup. Have we done cherries? Yes. yes. Red and black? Yes. yes. All right, then. Bananas. We haven't done bananas, then, have we? No. What about teaching us how to defend ourselves against pointed sticks? Pointed sticks, eh? Oh, won't we all high and mighty? Defend ourselves against pointed sticks, are we? Getting all high and mighty on your lord, are you? Sorry, my lord. Right! Now to defend yourself against the banana. You first must shoot your assailant with a longbow. Then he drops the banana. You have disarmed him, now leaving him helpless. Next, you eat the banana, thus disarming him. We shall train day and night until you get this right. Very well then, greetings, my lords and ladies, and welcome back to Fair Ferretburg. And as you can tell, I have the full retinue now. Most of them are fully armed and armored, and they look like absolute badasses. We even got our flag, finally. I don't know who the flag bearer is. Alright, men, trail arms. Ah, oh, enough of this nonsense. I'm going back to my house. So it's been a few years. Actually, I think we were on year seven or eight the last time we ended. The manor is done. Uh, we have set up an apple orchard on the... There is no mini-map, I just realized this. The south side of town, there is an apple orchard now. <clears throat> and a few more specialty shops. Uh, a lot more vegetable plots. And uh, this is cool. I got rid of the communal ovens and started up a couple of bakeries. Also, uh, built another farmhouse and expanded the fields. So with two farmhouses, each fully stocked with workers, we should have plenty of help to get all our fields sown, plowed, harvested. I think this is a bug. This field still is only like half full. I may have to like burn this or something to get it to clear out and then have them replow it. Everything is working full capacity. We are slowly... Our royal tax is slowly going up. So I'm trying to figure out a way to increase money. <clears throat> which my go-to solution was just to kill bandits. But unfortunately... I've gotten too good at my job. All the bandits have disappeared. So I think for the first half of the episode, I want to get the economy up and going right and then I think we're going to demolish the manor because I want to move it onto the more defensible spot on top of the hill because anytime we've been raided or been attacked they 
I I'm able to meet them before they do any damage to the town. So I'm rather going to go for the the pure medieval aesthetic, which is the the fortress on top of the hill. Okay, so first let's go to the training post. We got plenty of barley coming in, so let's stop trading that. Stop trading food. Okay, so there's a surplus on flour. We can no longer export that for a decent amount of money. I don't have enough wooden parts to export anymore. Okay, let's stop importing iron ore for the time being. Actually, does anyone know, by putting more families into a... a particular shop does that make that more efficient or no I'm not sure oh we've also uh, greatly upgraded a lot of the town yeah I just noticed something some of these walls don't really line up all that well <laughs> It does look good, though, the little stone entranceway into the backyard. That's a nice apple orchard. And every, every workshop is fully staffed. Whether we got the stuff for it or not. I don't think I can think of the help on our money is just to keep keep upgrading the uh, the town itself because we need every house at level two or above. Upgrade. And also, every time you upgrade the house, it takes away the market stall, so you have to you have to click on it again. I don't know if I realized that in the last few parts. Between the hunters and like the one or two goat herds I have set up, it's been more than enough to keep the um, more than enough to keep the shoemaker in in uh, employ I don't know what these are I'm gonna say it's some sort of root vegetable but I'm I don't cannot identify it those are carrots cabbages God, I don't know those turnips maybe oh Baldrick would be so happy a turnip of his very own Plenty of eggs, more turnips, I'm guessing. Yeah, usually we did not have like a surplus of anything, but now we are starting to get a surplus of vegetables. One thing I was telling Boudica is like the one part I thought was true to medieval life is like most of the food you have throughout the year is going to be bread because meat Meat was not available for, for peasants. Uh, vegetables and fruits are extremely seasonal. And other than the root vegetables, nothing keeps. Let's see, how's our army looking? I'm starting to get some chain mail. Everyone has gambesons now. We got three guys who have chain mail, so those are going to be our captains. I said, let's check out our retinue. I need to finish naming them.
And finished customization. If you hear little jingles, that's the uh, the kittens. Okay, now <clears throat> now I got my new completely kitted out. Well, I'm not kit completely kitted out. I'm gonna wait till I get some more money in. So we got Sagramor, Isa, Erhart, Jorg, Albrecht, Kavan, Tolman, Tomas, Kilok. Dagonet, Percival, Morphan's the ugly, because he is so, so ugly. Versengetherix, Galahad, you have the wrong color shirt on, sir. There you go. What manner of pants are you wearing? Lancelot, Arthur, Tristan, Ditz. Kingla, Owain, Angus Macarim. Let's give you a wee green. The mercenary from beyond the isles. Linhart, Bedwyr, and brave Sir Robin. <laughs> Little bit of the game, little bit of uh, Monty Python, little bit of uh, the Winter King. Not the TV show, the book. TV show sucks. <sighs> it's gonna be something else I can trade. We had like almost 500 war bows. Now we're finally down to... How much do I actually need to... To arm... I only need 60 to arm the militia. And they actually all have their bows already, don't they? So I think I can call another... Call another unit of bowmen. Okay, how many bows does that leave us with? I think they'll have to get them first, I think. Okay, how about let's reduce that down. Let's make them the bite me in the ass. Keep, keep 45 bows. And trade the rest. Oh, that is so pretty. Not an impressive army, but an army nonetheless. You are still the only ones I can hire. I may have to raise a tax policy just to get this done in time. No bandits come in. Or else I am in some serious shit. Not bad. Oh, that's an impressive wheat crop. Some more flax coming in. We'll need some more linen for clothes and such. See, where are my tailors at? Okay, you're making cloaks. And I've got the other one making clothes. Okay. Maybe I should have them both making clothes so we can have actual surplus. Well, how much yarn do I have? Because the linen's been coming in, in spurts, but we're getting the wool year-round. Oh, 175. Yeah, okay. Let's have them both make cloaks. 
Alright. Fair amount of cloaks. Yeah, they're both making cloaks. Switch you to making clothes. Something else that needs to be added on this. There has to be some way where you can... Where you can tab down your specialty sh your specialty houses that do that do like joinering fletching blacksmithing whatever because when your town gets to a certain size like this if you don't remember where they are you're not going to find them quickly At the nice, respectable medieval village. Well, we at least have helmets and cloth armor. Booty was asking me about um, warfare in this period and, you know, why you don't really see a lot of these battles with, like, gigantic, massive armies. Like, you see the the Roman period, you see, like, these these battles of, like, they, they were rare, too, but you do see battles of, like, 300,000, 500, half a million combatants. But with the medieval period, you don't see that. And I, I answered her, it's, like, it's simple, it's logistics. Medieval kingdoms did not have the logistics base that, that the Romans did to field these massive armies. And that's the one thing about this game I really like is that, yeah, you have a small village of 250, 51 people. And if I called my army right now, it's 144 people. That's all the men in the town. So if we lose a battle, this town is finished <laughs> because all the workforce is dead. Oh, you need food stall. I wonder if you rebuild the house, does it, does it start the vegetable process all over again? Oh, I just noticed, too, the fence is upgrade, so you have the regular fence like this, and then it goes to a wicker fence. In part two. I can't remember their names. There's a couple of archaeologists that actually do reenactments like this, actually building fences like this, or and living in this lifestyle. This looks simple to make, but it's probably extremely difficult to master. That's what all these houses are made out of, too. So it's like the, the framing of the house is this fence here. Or, you know, you have the framing here, but this part here is actually woven together. And then the outside is actually... Um, uh, it's what's called wattle and daub. It's basically straw, mud, and um, poop. <laughs> But once, once it's put on there and it's dried and painted, it's actually fairly weather resistant. And there's a little kitten by my foot. How much time do I have before I owe the king that much money? 176 days, that's not that long. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. 
Give me more money. Many up to level three is possible too. Ooh, there we go. Maybe running. No, I got. I don't have enough wealth. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That would cost money. Shit. Hell, that was a mistake. Oh well, spend money to make money, I guess. At least we took care of our food situation. It's detached to these guys so they can help the construction. Harvest is coming in. How much did we get in? Not bad, almost 400 wheat. 289 flax, 203 barley. the tavern off for a little bit see if I can build up some beer because <clears throat> lack of entertainment ah <laughs> oh, damn wait a minute the enemy presses what the enemy does what now presses claim how dare you claim my ferretberg Or Ferretberg isn't yours to claim. Uh, wait, there's an actual battlefield? <laughs> so we have to go to Wallenbrand? Okay. What happens if I don't show up? <laughs> Surrender locked. Enemy it where? Ooh. How big is this retinue? That's that's a thirty-six. Ooh, that's a lot of archers. Where are these guys at? Oh, they're coming right towards me. Okay, uh, mobilize the army. Can I arm anyone else? <laughs> I lose, I won't have the money to pay the king anyway. I can make it worthwhile if you drop all your claims. Okay. Okay. Well, that was... <laughs> he 
He's silver except. Did they give us silver or did we give him silver? Oh, one of my guys got wiped out completely. Yeah, they're not attacking me. Watch him, men. Shift lines. My lord. Run. Men. Fire. Move quickly. Your orders. Yes, sire. Move quickly. I'm not saying to get the fuck off my land, but get the fuck off my land. What the hell now? So I'm confused. Are we still at war or not? Okay, so it's still a work in progress. So what's what's going on then? Because if we're still fighting, I can wipe them out right now. <laughs> Not sure what exactly is going on here. What was that? Why'd the camera shake? Oh, they're attacking brigands. Protect the peasantry!
Oh, my guys do not like trying to path around the archers. A new one, boys. That is, is that the last of the Raiders? So does 20 days go by and then the war be over or what? Don't chew on the cord. You won't like what happens. New yeah, more mercenary companies available this month. I think I have archer superiority, but I'm not sure. They're still moving through. My lead, my lord. Can you do what you can do in... Ah, you can! Okay, there we go. How many troops are they bringing in? Yeah, war is not an option right now. I have militia troops with very little armor. Actually. We have helmets and gambesons. Um, none of them have body armor. Maybe that guy. Yeah, they're going right for the battleground. So, did we declare peace or no? Or I'm, I guess we're waiting 16 more days to see what his response is. Oh yeah, we we did kill some of the bandits. Um, where is my corpse pit? <laughs> One, take care of that. <clears throat> losing? How am I losing? Is because I'm not on the battlefield. All right, what do they? What do they have? One brigand. One unit of archers. Personal retinue. And two companies of light mercenary infantry. If I get my archers on this flank, I may be able to... <sighs> I 
I could definitely outclass his Bowman. If I can get the Bowman and the Brigands to to turn and run, I maybe get my archers on the flank of of his light infantry and just shoot in there while all my main guys hold their own. I'm going to wait 11 more days though. See what happens in response to my my strongly worded letter to their to their uh, overlord. Eight more days. Never campaign in winter. Something is popping in my head. I guess we're fighting the war anyway, because there's no response to my correspondence. Okay, I don't like this. Maybe I can get some spoils from war. Where be the tavern? Where is the tavern? Okay. Should be enough beer made up by now. Eight, eight barrels. That's it. Stay with his prick. Did he say I can't stay with this prick? We're just gonna stare at each other? Oh, like a real medieval battle. Okay. Alright, sorry people. Taxes have gotta go up for a little bit. They're not attacking us. Are they just going to stay there until the battle's over? Run. Where'd all the... Oh, okay, never mind. I was like, where did all <laughs> where did all my money go? <laughs> Just keep staring them down, men. 
Don't let them see how fearful you are. Now that I actually get a chance to look at the unit models, they actually look pretty good. I love, like, the hodgepodge mix of armors, weapons, equipment. Yep, there's Brave Sir Robin, right in front. <laughs> he was not at all afraid to be killed in nasty ways. His limbs all tangled and mangled, Brave Sir Robin. Oh, I know how to get enough money. I'm not gonna like this, but... Oh, everyone will leave the town. Yeah, uh, trying to do my math here. Will that give me enough? Yep, that'll give me enough money. <clears throat> and then I'll drop the land tax down to zero and rebuild my my approval rating. Meanwhile, back to the war. And they did bravely stare down their foes for 40 days and 40 nights. And their unerring search to appease their lord. Neither did they eat, nor did they sleep, nor did they drink any of water, nor of beer, nor of mead. Or eat any of the creeping or crawling things of the earth. They did stand and stare, stare and stare down, they did their implacable foe. I mean, seriously, this has got to be a bug. <laughs> I can't even attack him. It's, it's not even an option. Okay, we have enough to pay. People are going to leave the town. I, I've, I've noticed this. We had one very important thing to do. Pay the king. That was it. 500 gold pieces. That's a lot. I shall tempt them to attack by moving the archers ever so closer. They are almost kissing, that's how close they are. Where? Where was that sighted? Oh, what is going on? That is a lot of forces. I mean, seriously, where are these guys? We're not fighting. We're not doing anything. What are these guys doing? <laughs> I need to get these guys back at the work. Wow, there's more troops coming in.
I mean, if I attack him, we're dead. Oh, mercenaries. This may be the it for Ferretberg. <laughs> well, while I'm waiting for my doom, I'll start planning out what else I can do to make this better next time. Why'd that go down? Oh, because of taxation. Well, it'll all go back up. I got taxation off. Yeah, again, not exactly sure what's going on. I thought we declared peace, but they're still massing troops. Which, again, if they turn to attack, I'm fucking dead. Uh, the greatest military tactic of all. Have your enemy farm in front of you. What the hell was that? <laughs> da -da, da -da. I hope everyone is enjoying this epping, thrilling contact. <laughs> Combat. Epic, thrilling combat. I should just declare war on him right now and just, like, attack him from behind. But I will quickly get wiped out afterwards. I am not your enemy, I am one of you! I don't even know where his army went. Why is my... Like, that's still from last month. I don't have any taxes going out, do I? No. Let's just fast forward this. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, now they're moving. Oh, they're just moving slightly to the left. I would have had no chance. I'm still winning. True medieval battles. Staring contests. This is true tactics. You just pretend to be one of them. Okay, what happens? We won the battle! <laughs> get, the, get the fuck off my land! <laughs> Shit! 
Okay. Go away. All right, boys, march home. All right, back to work, everybody. Wait a minute, how many recruits did I have? I have 180 recruits now? I think three archers is too many, maybe? But I mean, I don't have anything else. I, all I have is war bows. I don't have enough iron coming in for everything else. I'm surprised public order didn't go down more than that. How many building materials do I have? Oh, well, quite a bit. I don't know if I want to make more houses, though. I, want, I really want to upgrade everything else as high as I can. I really want to get the economy of the town up and going. Okay, so everything that's a level one needs to be above that. So yeah, let's get everything. Aren't they still trying to attack? What the fuck is going on? Are they still? I think they're, they're still just walking off the map. Yeah, they're still walking off the map. That's what that was. And we have pretty much a year's worth of food and fuel now, so... Yeah, let's get everything... up to level two and start ignoring these. Are you all fighting in there? What the hell is going on? We still have five kittens in the house. Yeah, I think I was right. Every time you do upgrade the plot, it uh, it takes the market stall away. Are there any other mercenaries besides the Wayward Sons? <laughs> I need, I need, I need people who can fight with weapons. I got enough war bows for days. I could become the new Welsh army of Germany. So apparently I'm also at the the max town level, so I can't I can't uh up access any more technologies. I also can't unlearn any technologies either that I might not want anymore. So there's that. I'm kinda hoping that's something you can do down the line. Maybe not unlock everything, but at least give you more points to... You can at least lock four or five things on each branch. Again, early access is not done yet. Let me take this strict fasting off. Maybe that means my approval rating will go up a little bit faster, too. I can possibly get more taxes off of them. I need to stop spending all of the regional wealth. That, that's what it needs to be. Oh, yeah, I forgot I was upgrading these down here, too. Well, at least I finally paid the king off. So if I can keep the original wealth above 500, that'll be 50 gold pieces a month. So by October, I should have enough to pay the king off. So if I can get that up to 1,000, I'll have enough money to actually do something with it. Am I taking taxes?
Still the wayward sons. I, I no longer want to carry on my wayward son. Leave me peace and get thee gone. I still have barley in there. Oh, uh, uh, okay. We have plenty of barley. Why aren't they making more beer? Maybe I need another brewery. you see why is that going down Looking like a proper rustic village now. Oh, he raised shrubbery. What does the shrine do? I can at least do that like on the entrances of the town. You're coming to Ferritberg. Well, there's been quite a few battles out that way, so probably a good spot to have a shrine. We need more workers here. Oh, that's a handcart. Why is no one? There's no one on the plow. Why is that cow just out in the field? What work area is empty? What, what do you mean it's empty? Spring time, the berries should be out. There are no berries. Okay, they're growing. <laughs> That's a risk. Oh, that's 800 gold coins though, if I can sell all those shoes. So can you only export or do you get a better price if you have a trader coming in? We'll find out. I love seeing them all work together. I think that one... Oh, it's supposed to be barley. That's not going to get sown in time. I've got plenty of flax. I don't know bandit camps anywhere I can raid. Or will they only come in when there's no one in control of a region?
Yep, yep, there went all the shoes. I don't know if that was worth it. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Can I only get ones I haven't hired before, or are all the rest of them hired? And that's this is the last one left. Wow, we almost have a year and a half's worth of food, and it's all bread. <laughs> That's just the nature of the medieval diet. It's like grains were one of the few things that could be that could be saved and could be kept for quite a while. I can't remember what I was reading. Like like some medieval peasants would eat the equivalent of like two pounds of bread a day. I need to build another brewer. That one brewess, and she is not keeping up with the demand. Might convert one of these apple orchards into another brewer. Policies available. Yeah, the policies about that. What did I just sign? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what does policy ID zero do? <laughs> I don't even. I don't even have enough. Okay, it's June. We almost have enough for the treasury, to, or in the treasury to pay them off. Okay, so I think upgrade all the houses. Don't have any more people come in because more people that come in, taxes keep going up. I think that might be it. I need to keep keep constructing. Keep constructing up the, or building up the personal wealth and build up the treasury. No storage space left for production of the bakery? I will take that. We have a thousand loaves of bread. Alright, stop. Okay, brewery extension. The new houses we build, we can, we can put in more food. You, fair maiden, are getting a new job. What, what, what do you mean, unassigned families for construction work? I had five. What happened to the rest of them? Wait, is there something still in the corpse pit? There is. Okay, you, construction work. When I had the tavern up to like a almost 800 or not 800 but like a hundred barrels of beer on the wall
Okay, okay, we're making a profit now. I actually have wealth to speak of. Also, something else I was thinking of, I, it would be nice if you could turn some buildings off so they wouldn't use supplies. I don't even know if that's an option. Yeah, because he's going to use iron no matter what. I can't, I can't even seem to turn this off. Temporarily halts all construction work related tasks. Okay, you stop. Okay, you're fine. Yeah, I, I, because I really want the armor to actually make some chain mail, but I can't do that if the blacksmith was running. I, I had no idea that was an actual function. How were any of the stocks damaged by weather? It's inside. Oh no, what'd it go up to? 562, okay, that's not bad. <laughs> Why? Why can't I hire anybody else? Why is it just the archers? <laughs> One thing I can do now that I feel comfortable with doing. Uh, this band for right now. Get all of them, my retinue Will Stunny's armor upgrades quite a bit of them Right, now my retinue is fully kitted out. I love how they just live in my manor house. Pick up your weapons! And with that, my lords and ladies, we shall say fare thee well to fair Ferretburg for this episode. I shall continue to train my men in the arts of fighting with fresh fruit. But please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more. We will move the, the castle on top of the hill next time. We were, I was not expecting to be attacked. <laughs> right now. Peaches. Peaches cannot be fought the same way as a banana. The peach assailant must be taken down with a crocodile. Therefore... Okay.